Hello, this is Dr. Anil Maheshwari. I teach CS423, the course on systems analysis and design. The goal of this course is to make the students familiar with the knowledge underlying uh, the systems uh, design and implementation. The systems approach is an interesting way of looking at situation that holds are consisting of parts. And the software systems is no different. A systems development life cycle consists of approximately three big phases. In the first phase, there is some decision making going on, which is where we look at a business problem and see if there's a technical, technically feasible and uh, cost-effective solution available to uh, solve that problem. In the second phase, then a more detailed analysis is made of the situation. We meet the users, try to gather their needs, gather information requirements, and we also generate a design for the system. Then in the third phase, that design is implemented using software engineering, which means coding, testing, implementation, maintenance, etc. This course will focus on the second phase, which is analysis and design. So approximately the course can you know, be seen as having two big parts, analysis and design. In the analysis part, we look at a business situation, many business situations actually. Sometimes we bring external speakers to talk about their business situation, so you can ask them questions, they can describe what their environment is, etc. Uh, we also learn techniques like uh, interviewing, surveys, and various other ways to gather information and analyze it. The second part is design. In the design phase, we look at uh, tools for uh, you know, modeling the system. So modeling the data, modeling the process, and modeling the user interface. For data modeling, we will look at entity relationship diagram, data normalization, data dictionary, etc. For the process modeling, we'll look at data flow diagrams, process diagrams, uh, decision trees and charts, etc. That's kind of a, a two major parts. This course will actually provide you enough skill and knowledge for becoming a systems analyst uh, or move towards that as a systems analyst or a business analyst. These are uh, roles in great demand, sets you up for becoming an IT executive. So we will also discuss briefly the object-oriented development approaches and the, and the agile approach. So we invite you to take this course and learn all about systems analysis and design and move your career to a you know, fast-growing uh, fast trajectory.